Welcome back to Focus on Health. In case you're joining us right now, we're talking about vitiligo. So most of you may have seen it, but you don't really know what it entails. And that's why it is important to create awareness and of course talk about the support that goes with people suffering from the skin condition. Thank you so much, Dr. Ari, for joining us today. Thank you, Michelle, for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Gilbert Angore. I'm the medical superintendent uh, for Bliss Healthcare. As you all know, uh, Bliss Healthcare is the largest uh, outpatient facility with over 80 facilities in the 47 counties. And uh, our setting as Bliss Healthcare structure is diagnostic. We have the uh, consultation rooms, we have the laboratories, we have the radiology department, the pharmacy. So it's mostly diagnostic and, uh, and, and uh, management. Today, as we not forget again, is I'm very excited to be here to discuss about vitiligo. And uh, let us also not forget that the person who started this, his name is Lee Thomas. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lee Thomas, uh, he's um, uh, a good journalist who started uh, very well in his career. He was in the army. He works in the US. He was a part of the team which was introducing the Oscars. He was a very famous person. But the moment he realized that he had the patches on his face, how do you come out? You are, uh, you are, you are a big person, very famous, famous person, and uh, the world is looking at you. So when he noticed this, he started to hide it because uh, he knew that how will I come out to the society and start telling them that uh, I have a different face or different hands. But at the end of the day, he realized that hiding was not a solution. And uh, keeping quiet about it is also not a solution. So what did he do? He started a small group in the United States with 300 people on 25th June to celebrate the World uh, Vitiligo Day. Oh, yeah. Yes, I yeah. think that's really interesting because then you see maybe a celebrity yes. going through it and you look up to this people and be like, okay, I have what Lee has, so it's, yes. it's very normal. It's very normal. Um, so Dr. Ari, maybe you tell us what exactly is this Vitiligo? So Vitiligo, it's a, it's, it's a skin disease yeah? caused by an autoimmune. Our immune system our f affects or attacks its own cells and mostly it's the cells of the skin. So this is what vitiligo, it's an autoimmune disease affecting the, the, sk the skin of uh, an individual. And uh, there is no proper explanation why your immune system will attack you. But this is now vitiligo, it has no cure, but it's, it's not a life-threatening disease and at the same time, it is not contagious. So if I get vitiligo today, I might not, uh, by, by shaking hands or, yes, yeah, but or even, you can have your own family, but they will not be affected. Yeah, yeah. So. I feel like most people don't really get vitiligo and you know, like you said, they'll fear shaking their yes, hands. Yeah. Others may be associated with HIV. Could yeah. you tell us about the myths that we have around vitiligo? So, to me, today I will not only discuss the myth, I would like to discuss about the social impact and the economical impact of this disease. Social impact, we have to talk about the mental health of this individual who get this disease. That is number one. Mental health, number two, we have to talk about the well-being of this person. He was normal and today he has patches on his face. What is his hand? How will he handle it? Second is the economic aspect of this person. How will he tomorrow go to work? This is a disease which uh, he did not anticipate to get it. He had a career, he was an Oscar person, he was introducing. Now he can't face the same community which was clapping for him six years ago. And the last but not least, we have to talk about the community. How is the community going to interact with these people? The same question you're asking about the myth. Today, my kid is five years old, he developed these patches. How will other kids interact with him? Because they will think, okay, there's something wrong, he is sick. What about the parents? When their birthday parties, how will we take our kids there? How will I present myself there with little life? So, this disease has affected people in the social, economical, and mental. And as an organization where I work from, we notice this, that people will be affected, people are being affected. 
they cannot open up in terms of mentally. They have got this disease where they don't know what to do with it. And as I have said, it's not life-threatening. His life will be normal. But at the same time, how will he move on tomorrow? Yeah. So Bliss has come up with a package. We call it the wellness package and wellness. So we go to schools where the children have vitiligo and we tell them that this disease is not something that you can run away with. We have to accept it. So mentally you have to teach these people that you have to accept the disease in the first place, that it will not go away. Maybe it will spread, but not that much. Or maybe it can spread and affects the entire body. Do you hide from it? What do we do? So this package, which is in bliss, we offer a psychologist in it who will come and talk to this patient. But as we have discussed, vitiligo is a dermatological disease. We need a dermatologist. So as a bliss healthcare, we also offer the specialist to come and assist, come in. How do we assist these children? How do we assist these adults or parents who have vitiligo? And another thing about vitiligo, how is it caused? Because many people have asked me, Dr. now you are telling us we are coming for a wellness camp, but where did it stand from? Where did it come from? As you have asked, there are myths out there. People saying maybe it's a witchcraft, it's this and that. But no, we have come up with studies and we have gone to the camp, we have been telling people that this disease is, as I have said earlier, uh, Michelle, it's an autoimmune disease. We don't know why the immune system is, at is attacking its own body and especially the cells on the, on the skin. There have been studies where they say, can we come up with medication to stop? Because once you have it, you can't stop it. But can we stop the progress of this disease? So these are studies which are going on right now. And uh, we are trying to come up with new methods, new ways of trying to treat the disease. But ideally, the more creams we apply, the corticosteroids and what have you, you are proning yourself to cancer. Oh, yes. So they most people maybe try to cover with makeup, yes. try to at least make that part blend with skin. Yes, yes, yes. So it's, it's, a, it's a acceptance first, mm -hmm. and then at the same time, don't do harm to yourself, mm -hmm. because this disease can cause cancer if you use other means because at itself your, your skin is prone it is sensitive don't do anything which is going to cause more pain to where the, the, the disease has spread yeah. yeah and do tattoos maybe if you put a tattoo on that particular patch would that also affect and maybe then lead to cancer like you mentioned yes because tattoo is laser mm -hmm. and laser is permanent so it damages the, the skin layer so you can imagine this place has been affected by this disease it's now sensitive and then you go add laser on it so you'll be doing more harm than, than good that's why I, I i have to speak again and we have to emphasize again that uh, vitiligo is not a life-threatening disease we as an organization we have to train people to accept this disease in the first place yeah bliss can offer you a package to come to the hospital and see a psychiatrist or a psychologist or you can see a dermatologist and these things can be discussed don't put tattoo don't do harm to yourself don't take anything which is going to affect your body which at the long run is going to be an expensive venture treating cancer than treating the like yeah and that's how we've talked about you know maybe like building the confidence to yes. actually you know, be confident about it yeah. let's talk about the stigma associated when it comes to society yes. how do we create this awareness in the society so number one very good question uh stigma is there yeah nobody knew about vitiligo people knew about albinoism yeah, sure. we have albino kids but now how do um, why am I changing to become an albino and I was normal? So that is the stigma we have. And as, as an organization, as again I've said, as an organization, we are trying very hard to create these packages, the wellness package, whereby now we want to introduce them to schools. Let us start from the young kids. Yeah? Let us go there as Bliss Healthcare and teach these kids that it is okay. It is okay. We have a psychologist who will train these kids that living with this disease is not something bad. Hiding from it 
it can affect you. Yes, what is bad? Yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm a friend of Kutilego. It's yeah. like, like an entire fashion event. Yeah. But you know, to just appreciate skins. Yes. Like underneath the skin, we are all the same Kutilego. Yes, but, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think it's important maybe to use our platforms. If yes. You're a celebrity, yes. you're a doctor, you're yeah. always like on TV. Very true, very true. And uh, to me, to me, I can also add on this that um, people with vitiligo have a life too. Yeah, sure. They can get married, they can marry, and they can have children. The only uh, issue which has to be discussed here, as I said, in Bliss Healthcare, we have trained staff to to, to psychologically uh, train or teach these parents that this disease also can be hereditary. It can be inherited. You can spread it to your kids. But if we teach you or we train you in advance, you are psychologically, mentally prepared to handle any circumstances which will come. You have a kid, but you know that I might have spread this to my own children. Severity will depend now on how fast you have noticed it and what are the medications you are planning to take. Yeah. Actually, is it possible to actually get born with this condition or is it something that you develop maybe afterwards? Being born with vitiligo is highly unlikely. You can't be born with vitiligo. You, 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 the immune system affects you after you are born. That's why it's called an autoimmune disease. It will affect you once you are born. Then you start seeing, now uh, you can, sometimes it can be focal. Focal, maybe you can just see it only on the hands. And sometimes it can be generalized, can everywhere. Yeah? So it can be one side, you can see it only on one hand, on one leg. So you can hide from it. But, the moment the, 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 the moment you accept the disease is there, the, the easier for you mentally, psychologically, physically. And another thing which we, we cannot uh, forget, as we have discussed vitiligo with stigma, there's the financial aspect of it. Who will want to employ you with this disease? Who will give you the avenue to look for a job because you have vitiligo? So that's another aspect which we have to discuss as an organization, but as the world too. As we celebrate today that there is the stigma which has to come to an end that these people are not contagious. Even if you sit with him in the same work office, he will not spread vitiligo to you. It is his immune system affecting him, not yours. So let us be friends with them, let us live as one society, and at the same time, uh, they also have an opportunity. As I've said, they have a life. They can marry, remarry, have children, they can have workplaces, they can go to work and work like any other person. Yeah. And do they have maybe other complications apart maybe from the, men, the mental complications from stigma? Maybe let's say like maybe the organism, the surgery mm -hmm. is affected? Yes, yes. So uh, vitiligo, as you have discussed, it's an autoimmune disease. Again, we have to go back and say it's, it's not a contagion, it's an autoimmune disease. So what happens is most of the time they will experience uh, problems with uh, vision. Same as vitiligo, same as uh, albinos, they will have similar issues because it's the immune system affecting their melanin. So they will have issues with vision, they will have issues with hearing. So these are the issues and sunburn, yeah? because as I've said, if their skin is sensitive, their melanin has gone. So these are the issues which most of these patients complain of. And I have to reiterate again, I have to repeat this again, that as an organization, this organization, we are prepared for this. Yeah? We are prepared for all our patients who come with vitiligo that uh, we have, as I have discussed earlier, Bliss is a diagnostic center. We diagnose and manage patients. So we have an optical department with specialists. If patient comes to us, he has uh, issues with uh, vision, we have a whole section of uh, uh, optical department which can be taken care of. If you have a hearing issue, we have a whole department of ENT which can take care of you as an organization. And uh, last but not least, before I uh, finish in terms of uh, how we can help them, uh, Bliss Healthcare has also um, developed a privilege card, privilege card, which is only 2,000 shillings for the whole family for a year. So if you get a privilege card from Bliss, five family members can be treated at Bliss Healthcare using the same privilege card. So not only are we doing a wellness camp outside there, we want to tell them once you come, 
you will have this package of privilege where you and your family members can access all the specialists, can access all the departments, including the lab for diagnosis. Thank conversation. You so much, Dr. Arisa. Yeah, yeah. That's quite an interesting conversation yeah. with Tilago. Maybe okay. you could tell our viewers your final remarks on the same. My final remarks is um, uh, this disease is with us, and uh, we can't run away from this disease. And we want to tell all, all our patients as we celebrate the 25th of, of June as Lee Thomas. We want to tell the world that uh, the world has not come to an end because you have vitiligo. Yeah? You can get treatment, you can get help, and uh, Bliss Healthcare is there for that purpose. As I've told you again, we have the wellness package, and then we have the privilege cards for not only you, but your family members to get help. And uh, as an organization, I will go back there again and ask them, can we do wellness packages in schools? Yeah, so that uh, our kids can also be trained that there is this disease and uh, we can help them mentally, psychologically, so that they can play with other kids in the, in the, uh, in the school. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much, Dr. Thank, thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to more talking more about the Tilaigo. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we've come to the end of our show and there you have it from Dr. Ari. Vitiligo is with us. It is not contagious. So let us create awareness on Vitiligo because underneath the skin we are all the same. I've been your host, Bari Michelle. Don't forget to hit us up on our social media platforms at KUTV Focus on Health on Facebook and on YouTube and also Health Focus on on Instagram. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Vitiligo is a medical condition in which patches of the skin lose their color. This can occur when melanocytes, the cells responsible for making skin pigment, are destroyed. Vitiligo can affect any part of the body and it can occur in people of any age, ethnicity or sex. Affecting approximately 1% of the population, vitiligo can be an emotionally and socially devastating disease. Particularly frustrating to many is its unpredictable progression which can be slow or rapid. Even though vitiligo can affect many different parts of the body, it is not contagious. A person with vitiligo cannot transmit it to someone else. Natural vitiligo prevention. Apply a mixture of lemon and sweet basil extract and a mixture of turmeric and mustard oil daily. People diagnosed with vitiligo should incorporate the following on their diet. Bananas, apples, leafy green vegetables such as kale or romaine lettuce, chicken peas also known as gabanzo beans, root vegetables especially beets, carrots and radishes. The following foods tend to react negatively with people diagnosed with vitiligo. Alcohol, blueberries, citrus, coffee, curds, fish, fruit juice, gooseberries, grapes and pickles. Focus on Health, your weekly dose of health and wealth information on KUTV.